I think that I was only nine when first I met Metzengerstein, too young to know his foul intent, too young, too pure, too innocent. He lived in some old ruined church with gothic columns, vaulted arch, that sheltered him from thundered skies and hid in gloom his enterprise. For from that church were mutterings on windy nights, such utterings as screams while weird unholy moans disturbed the graveyard's scattered bones. He wore a cape that wrapped him in, a hat broad-brimmed and black as sin. His gaiters to the knee were brown, the boots he wore, they made no sound. At night I'd see his shadow pass, dark stained upon my window glass, as stealthily he roamed abroad, while mist and fog obscured the road. He came from some small German town, my kindly father asked him round, We must be kind and make no fuss, but treat him just as one of us. Metzengerstein then came to call and sat and stared, stared at us all. My mother brought us cake and tea and laughed and smiled most happily. She was so sweet, so fair of face, my father said, she lends us grace. She was much younger then than he, he brought her from the old country. But while she played the welcome host, Metzengerstein watched her the most. His eyes burned fierce beneath thick brows, as once he'd spied on German frows. He came again, again, and he ignored my father, ignored me, but watched my mother's every move. She danced to see if he'd approve. My father sat bemused and still, and worried too, for I could tell. His wife would seem to be bewitched. Metzengerstein had scratched her itch. So soon that sweet and dainty dame had added rumour to her name. She raised her skirts above the knee, wore tops as low as low could be, while in our parlour came the sounds of dancing music all year round. Metzengerstein sat in his chair while she would dance and taunt and stare right back at him, full in the eyes, as if he had her hypnotised. I wish I'd never asked him here, my father muttered in despair. Then one day, when I was but ten, my mother, with Mitz Engerstein, went out and said, We're going to search the bowels of that ruined church. He told her there was music there, would charm the roots of her fair hair, would spin her giddy in the dark, would fairy-like ignite her spark. I waited till my father came and told him I was not to blame. But mother's gone some stairs to climb. She's gone with that. Metzengerstein. We waited and we waited on, but of the two there was no sign. At length we sought the church in pain, but all was echoes in the rain. For days and weeks and then for years I watched my father burst in tears, whenever tunes they did remind him of his wife, Metzengerstein. And lonely then became his life, he mourned his only love, his wife, but she had disappeared as if her dainty frame did not exist. This year, as autumn winds were due, I found that I was fifty-two, when down the road I saw a sign, my mother, and Metzengerstein. She danced on in and said, we're back, we found no music in the rack. I stood and stared like one deranged, for neither of the two had aged. My father, crippled in his chair, cried out, Oh God, is that my dear? And she shrank back to see him now, this pale old man, his feeble brow. I have been but an hour or so, what's wrong? Where did my husband go? I looked at her through childhood tears. You have been gone for forty years. She swooned, fell swiftly to the floor, as I peered out the open door, but of that cape there was no sign. He'd gone for good.
Let's sing this song. <laughs> 